There we go. This is the good old Wago Sport Cross 2004. This car was completely totaled when I got it. The front end was, I mean, the whole core support was just destroyed. Headlights, bumper, um, it had front frame horn, horn damage. The valves in the head were sheared on the exhaust side because of the impact. Did pick this car up for a thousand dollars. They originally wanted two thousand dollars for it. Uh, said it was running and driving, but the front end damage was pretty bad. Messaged them and I was like, dude, I will send you two thousand dollars right now. Um, I hadn't even seen the car, but I was like, I will send you the money right now. I will come and pick it up either tomorrow or at your earliest convenience, which was kind of risky, but I could not pass this opportunity up. The interior is not that great. There's lots of tears in the seats. Uh, the dash is fucked. I've had to do a ton of work to this car since I've gotten it, but it's all been worth it because they're rare. You know, you can't, you can't find these wagons anywhere. Plans with this really are to just be able to make a streetable drift build. So something that's really modest, OEM plus, I'm probably not gonna go nearly as hot boy as I did with the sedan. This is something I want to be just really refreshing. As I'm sure this is why you clicked on this video. I'm gonna show you how to clear some IS300 tails. Now this is a wagon, same shit. Pretty much, pretty much the same shit, just a little bit different. These tails clear the same as the uh, sedan. But anyway, I guess I'll just cut straight to the fucking chase here. So I wanted to go ahead and show you guys the things that you're gonna need to actually accomplish this. For one, you're going to need a Dremel. Next, you're gonna need some um, window sealant. You can get this stuff at Home Depot for really cheap. I think it's like five bucks a tube or so because you do have to cut the lens off of the um, tail light. Next, you'll probably want some uh, ratcheting clamps. And if you have one, I would definitely you know I'll definitely use this to your advantage but a little vice to help hold the, the light in place while you set the lens back down on it maybe some isopropyl uh, alcohol to clean the essentially what you're gonna want to do is take your Dremel and you're going to want to cut along this right here this line right here You'll see kind of like a seam. You should be able to stick almost your fingernail in between it. Uh, but you'll cut around that seam all around the tail light here. So just make sure when you're cutting, you're not cutting too deep. Um, and uh, make sure you're getting the cut all the way through. Uh, you'll know you'll know if the cut hasn't made it all the way through. You'll be you won't be able to see light through the crack because if you've got a clean cut all the way around it, the the lens will just fall off. But um, yeah, let's get to cutting. One thing I wanted to note as well, even though I don't do this, I would highly suggest you wear eye protection because these hot shards of plastic will definitely uh, embed themselves in your eyeballs. So there you go. You've removed the lens now. Uh, you might want to clean up these edges here, you know, around the housing and on the lens. Take these screws out, one, two, three, and four. And this chrome portion will come out separate from the gray housing and then we'll remove this red lens. So I'm going to try to take a pick in there. And you're gonna to wanna to pry this out there and then press forward and go around and just press forward 
Let me go back to this last one. I'm not sure if you can see this, but pry that last one out. And there you go. Crash. There you go. Take our housing like this. All right, so now let's clean around this edge. Try to get, you know, a decently flat surface all the way around. One thing as well is we'll probably want to go around and clean the lens edge as well. I totally forgot to mention that. And same way that we cleaned our housing, take our alcohol and we'll clean the inside of the lens as well. Okay, we're going to get ready to seal this back up now. So now we'll just wait for this to dry, and uh, which shouldn't be too long, and we'll toss it back in the wagon. I also wanted to tell you guys real quick about these uh, tail lights. I'll leave the a link in the description below for these. When you press on them, they strobe, but uh, the problem is, is they set off the um, the tail light indicator on your cluster. stop by to watch this video even though there are probably dozens of other videos on how to do this for IS 300 well either way I'm glad you did if you stopped by but anyway